Late July. These are bacon habanero. They're vegan. Let's just wrap the top. I'm going to give you guys a lesson here. Verified non GMO, right? certified gluten free, right? whole grains, right? peanut and tree nut free. They're vegan, they're kosher. No trans fat or high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. Right? The numbers on these ones are, yeah. the numbers on these ones are, uh, there's uh, one ounce, of about 28 grams, 12 chips is a serving, and there's about six servings in this bag. Right? You get 130 calories per serving, 60 calories from fat, and that's usually from the oil and stuff that they're cooking. Total fat is 7 grams, saturated fat is 0.5, trans zero trans fat, polyunsaturated is 1 gram, monosaturated is 5 grams, zero cholesterol, 160 milligrams of sodium, but hey, they're chips, right? Now, total carbohydrates are 17 grams, dietary fibers is 1, sugars is 1, protein is 1. That's a relatively decent 80 10 10 mix. Right? You might, you know, if, if you were looking for the energy out of this, you'd run a little bit more for sugar, but hey, you eat, eat a couple spoonfuls of zilka. Right? Okay. Uh, me and non are figuring that the reason that they can get the bacon taste out of this and still have it vegan is because it comes from the smoke flavoring and the extracts of the paprika or whatever, right? Let's see them we'll go. Right? Down there gone because of rain over here. Right? This is what they look like. Well, they're usually a little bigger, but we got crumbs because brainwave over here ate them all. They're in the burritos, dingus. But what was that stuff that burned my mouth? Doritos. The consistency of the chip is like a Dorito. But, to take the paprika, there's a light hint of the habanero, just a light hint, but then chip, they just, for some unknown reason, they just can't make chips spicy. I don't know what it is. It tastes more kind of like a... We had spicy chips. Yeah. It tastes kind of like a... It tastes like the Dorito, not the cheese, with just a hint of habanero and some paprika on it. That it does. Look, we... Okay. Got it. Very good. Habanero barbecue. I don't know. This is the part I like right here. Give my finger is right. Here. Usually most corporations, most big most big food people, you know, corporations, you know, corporate evil people. If they even do donate any of their profits to charity, right, they usually never tell you about it. Right? And if they do accidentally tell you about it, somebody in your marketing department says, Hey, we we, we need to market this so people buy our shit. They only donate one percent, or it's like one dollar for every million that they make. This lady here, quote: "We donate ten percent of profits to causes benefiting children and the planet." End quote. Ten percent. At these costs right here, we got these for. Um, the regular price is three ninety nine because I use my safety card. We got a dollar forty nine off, so these are two dollars fifty cents. And so this lady donated a quarter, right, for this bag. Right, to whatever charity of their their company's favorite. So if you buy twenty, if you buy you know a hundred of these, that's you know ten, that's twenty bucks. It's going to the planet. Right, buy them. Right, and then these are good. Right, certified organic, quality insurance international. Right, I like them. I like them. We have another. We have another flavor here, sriracha. Right. It also has a jalapeno lime, nacho chipotle, and crispy yellow corn. Right. We tried the nacho. Yeah, they're worth the money. Right? Here, 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 here. Since I'm going to say something that I always say. They're good. Right? Yeah, they're with the men. Just meet Brian, not in the spring. Right? Sit here at Safeway, eating lunch. Right? Thank you.